Every journey begins with its first steps. Regardless of whether it is the product we manufacture or the reason we have. My journey began nearly two decades ago as I found the century synthetic fiber. My main goal to produce the best fibers to get out of this and supply all the big brands with it so everyone could benefit from it. I reached this goal focusing ourselves on what we call the four M's machinery, material, method, and man. So, to produce the best yarn, I need the best machine. This was the point where elegant man-made fiber first came into play. They provide me with everything I need to produce the yarn and quality I want to be known for. But we live in a fast-moving town. Requirements change almost daily, and yet we have to adapt and always be one step ahead. To stay competitive, I had a reason, a smart factory. Luckily, Elegant Man-Made Fiber already had a solution in mind, tailor-made for century. A private cloud system like a data center in a box, a local install and self-sufficient computer center. This box provides a digital platform that supervises all access, be it elegant, third-party machines like air conditioning or material handling system that allows deeper supply chain integration. All we have to do is share the data we like, so we could make advanced data analysis, artificial intelligence and distribute workflows possible by connecting edge and our central system in a secure and private manner. Despite the best machines, it's the people who operate them and often it's their expertise which makes the difference. That's why we want to keep their packs free so they can drive faster and better decisions in their daily workflow. Not only for this purpose, but on top, Elegant Memory Fiber's common service platform presents the perfect tool to support us. A dashboard which can show powerful visualizations to our individual needs day by day. All of this run on an open infrastructure powered by OpenStack and backed through a strong and vibrant community. I know to achieve my vision of Century's next evolution step, it means to redefine the young production. I am firmly convinced that I have found the right partners in early cut for the digitalization. Being the first to cross the finish line makes you a winner in only one phase of life. It's what you do after you cross the line that really counts. Together, we have laid the foundation to a factory of the future. Another important step toward our shared vision, the smart factory. Please welcome Georg Stausberg and Jörg Gross. Good morning together. Good morning, everybody. So it's a great honor for us to have the chance to give a keynote speech here at the OpenStack Summit. And we are talking about that traditional machine manufacturing, engineering, meets digitalization. And we want to give you an idea today what that means. But first of all, who is Erlikon? Erlikon is a company with around about 15,000 people worldwide operating in the area of advanced materials, which is a lot about metal powders, additive manufacturing, which is about surface solution, which means surface coatings, and which is about material processing, and part of material processing is what I'm talking about today. It's a manufacturing of chemical fibers. And we offer total solutions from the melt down to the yarn bobbin, and what a yarn bobbin is, I will explain to you in a second. 35 million tons of yarn bobbins are produced on our machines annually. And talking about the yarn bobbin, we are talking about something like that. It's OK, it's a bobbin. And we see the application every day. You see it in your clothes. You see it in the carpet. You see it at the chairs you're sitting in. 
but you also see it in your car, in the seat belt, um, in the airbag, in the tire. What's now the secret? So manufacturing such a yarn happens at a speed of 240 kilometers an hour. On that bobbin, we have around about 2,000 kilometers of yarn. And a typical manufacturing plant today produces 40,000 of these bobbins a day. So, and one centimeter of a failure of that yarn results in a color defect uh, in your suit. Or if you would have one centimeter of defect in your seat belt, it could end up in a disaster. So the topic is now, how can we ensure a proper quality on 2,000 kilometer at 40,000 bobbins a day. And what we are talking about is yarn with a diameter which is below the diameter of human hair. So the outer circle is a typical human hair. The inner circles are the diameters of a chemical fiber depending on the property of the yarn. And a typical manufacturing plant of such a yarn has a size of 24 football fields. Now, as I said before, with such an entity, you produce 40,000, 50,000 of these bobbins per day, which is equal to capacity of 900 tons of polyester per day. And now it comes to digitization. And the issue is now, how can we connect data of such an entire manufacturing plant, remember, 24 football fields, with data of the yarn, with yarn properties, with machine data, and how can we use data then to ensure um, a good quality? And digitalization, what does it mean? A machine control which nobody understands, which is slow and, and, and. No, that's just kidding. Uh, we want to use digitalization to step into machine learning, to step into process integration, to have certain virtual reality, augmented reality solutions, and to step into automatization. And what that means will introduce you by my colleague, Jörg. Thank you, Jörg. Yeah, it's a video from my office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are the challenges of imp implementing our vision melt to yarn? To bring our vision melt to yarn to life, we face challenges from various fields. Let me focus on two. Our business solution consists of a lot of comp components. Earlycon, for sure, third party systems, and also equipment from competitors. Integration. Besides tracking and tracing all product and process data, our systems have to take over more and more control over every aspect of production and operation, which leads to an increasing demand on, on availability. A further challenge is the integration of existing machinery and software system. A customer hardly accepts a solution where his already installed equipment is not integrated, even if it is 10 years old. The, quest, the answer to the question, how we, how we, how we integrate uh, our legacy stuff, how we make integration, is the key to the success of our vision from melt to yarn. Oh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? Oh, yes, now awesome trip. Can we switch back, please? Yes, sorry. <laughs> Let me give an example what we are doing in terms of artificial intelligence. This is a, a plant, what Georg already mentioned, such a big texturizing plant. And such, and such a company, they're doing a lot of bobbins every day. And yarn quality is always crucial. It determines how the yarn behaves in downstream, like knitting or waving. And finally, the quality of your clothes or your car seats. So every meter of the produced yarn is measured online. In a plant with 120 machines and 70,000 winding positions, thus 7,000 online sensors creating tons of data every second. Assuming a good running production with just five relevant 
quality relevant events per position per day. Such an artificial module has to make roughly 350,000 uh, decisions every day. These decisions can lead to tasks like just replacing a defect component, but also can lead to stops the, pre stops the production because of that uh, input material. The connection, of the, OMO, the, the connection to the OMF cloud allows of an ongoing improvement of the underlying model. Based on anonymized findings and decisions from the factories all over the world, the, mo the model is continuously trained, upgraded, and downloaded to the sites. Yeah, so our, our, our architecture. You have to know 85% of our machines are installed in Asia, and the most of them in China. We have data centers located in Europe, in the US, and in China, where our central cloud systems are hosted. These clouds are synchronized via leased line. This makes us independent from the often changing behavior of the great China firewall. This gives us the flexibility and the performance we need. All our premises, all, all our premises systems are connected to the early cloud via VPN for security reasons. Yeah, let us take a closer look to the architecture of our Edge system. This architecture is used for a single machine as well for a high availability server cluster. The foundation of the system is OpenStack. Based on this platform, we have separated areas, areas virtual machine-based workloads to run our legacy applications. OpenStack enables us to increase the availability and the manageability of the existing software. Container-based workloads or software development is aligned to this architecture. With this, we can yeah, realize features like zero downtime, online update, and all this funny stuff. Since we have a cloud system, we are able to run third-party party workloads strictly separated from our applications. To bring, all, to bring our idea, our vision to life, we have a strong partner on our side. This is scale up. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye. Goodbye.